Good morning, guys. Happy last week of school. Today is Tuesday, June 1st. Yesterday, we we're obviously off because it was Memorial Day. Um, I'm very excited. It's literally our last week, which is insane, but we only have today, which is field day. So this is gonna be a really fun day. Wednesday is a full day and then Thursday is our last day and it's also a half day um, So yeah, I just wanted to take you guys along with me on my last week of school um, We'll see how much I vlog this week because you know the last week is just probably really crazy spending lots of time with students and just hanging out so Got my cup of coffee. I need to go inside to just set a few things up. Um, but yeah, I will catch you guys a little bit later. And I hope you guys enjoy this last week of school vlog. All right guys, it's the end of the day and I have not picked up my camera since this morning, but we just ended field day and it was so much fun. It was a lot, it was nice and warm, but they got to do like tie dye. I have wind chat by the way, so my lips are just like on fire. They got to do tie dye, there was like um, egg spoon race. There was so many good things, but I kind of cleaned up my room. You guys probably can't tell, but I took some things down because it's the end of the year. So like I took that bulletin board down. I took that one kind of down. I erased the birthdays on there tomorrow though. We're going to go ham on cleaning the room because we are tomorrow's a full day. So we're going to clean the room and take things home because yeah, I want this room spotless. I was like, we're gonna do something really fun tomorrow. We're gonna clean. So they're excited about that. But yeah, I have a haircut later this afternoon in a couple hours. So I will show you guys what my hair looks like. I literally have not got it cut since last year. I haven't gotten it trimmed, nothing since last year. So my hair's dry and dead. So it'll be nice to get it cut. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave now because it's weird. It's like when it's the last week, you feel like you don't really know what to do, but I need to print some stuff off for tomorrow. Maybe when I get home, I'll show you guys like the list of what I want to do for the last day activities so you guys can see what we're doing. But I have like a full on list that I need to print stuff off for. So, All right, so while I'm still here, um, I will let you guys know what I have on my list. So I want to, oh, I'll show you guys what I'm doing for the end of the year, like goodie bags. Um, I have an idea already and I ordered the stuff for it. So I'll show you guys probably on Thursday, but um, I want to get Capri Sun snacks and donuts for the kids. We did math races today for math. They love that. I'm going to print off some coloring sheets, play charades, create a class name word search, watch movies, of course, um, present our science projects that we haven't finished yet, clean up the room. Um, there's this thing that I found on Google. It's called positive back notes where you put, um, a note on everyone's back and then they have like a five minute timer or something. And then all the kids write something positive on each person's back. And then, um, once the timer's over, they go to look at the positive note to see what everyone has said. Guys, I am here at the salon. I had to change just so I could get comfy. Um, but I'm a few minutes early, so I'm just gonna talk to you guys. I kind of put my hair in a bun because I don't know what's been going on with my hair, but it's like dry and just stringy feeling. So I'm hoping that after this haircut, it's gonna be fresh. Or you know, like every time you get a haircut and they style it for you, it's just nice and fresh and it feels like you just gotta blow out. So my hair should last for like the next, my hair should last probably till the last day of school, which is on Thursday and today's Tuesday. So fingers crossed, but um, I have such a terrible headache from field day today. Like my lips are really chapped. So I put like a bunch of chapstick on before I left. I have a ginormous headache because I probably didn't drink enough water. We were outside all day and you know, like when there's so many kids out there, you're just shouting and screaming at your kids. Like, so um, I will show you guys the aftermath of my hair once it's finished. I'm literally just getting a trim. But you know, once one inch is off and then they put the waves in it, it's gonna be so nice. So very excited to get my hair cut. Like I said before, it's legit been almost a year, so. And after, I love it so much. I think I got about an inch cut off. I just kind of told her whatever she thought would be good. Oh my gosh, guys. If you have been following me since the very beginning of my YouTube channel, you would know that like on Meet the Teacher Night, if you watched that vlog back then, um, 
I had like a crazy bad haircut that day. It was so bad because it was meet the teacher night and so I had booked the appointment right before to get my hair like, you know, nice and fresh. And um, literally came out with like two different lengths for my hair. So not fun. I went to a new girl, her name is Anna. I went to a nicer salon. And honestly, I think I'm just gonna start going to this place forever. If you guys live in Colombia, it's called Salon Nafisa. Love it. I've been I've been there before, but sometimes I just love like not having to spend like a ton of money because at the place I went to before it was literally like a five dollar haircut so I got what I paid for this one was fifty one dollars which I don't think is bad because she literally washes my hair she cuts and styles everything for fifty dollars I think that's a pretty good price um I don't really know either because I don't really get my hair done that much but I'm so happy with it I just told her to put some beach waves and once I sleep on it tonight it'll loosen up a little bit so I'm trying to keep this hair going until Thursday so I don't have to do my hair and I'll show you guys a better look when I get home but very excited. Yay! Okay, I'm at home now and here's a better look at my hair. I love this feeling. I love like change and just having a fresh haircut and I I honestly just need to go more often so I booked another appointment like I said so I'm really excited to get like just a trim because I would do actually want to grow my hair out a little bit but I also really really love this length so I might go back and forth on that but yeah so I think Brandon and I are just going to spend the rest of the night here relaxing because it's been a long day for me at least and I think I'm just gonna make dino nuggets in the air fryer so Great dinner. <laughs> um, anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow morning and maybe I'll do, actually, maybe I'll do like a little skincare. I'll show you guys like what I use um, whenever I take my makeup off and stuff a little bit later whenever I do that. All right guys, this lighting is kind of terrible, but I wanted to show you guys what I did to take off my full day of makeup. So I actually go in with my Hydro Boost. First, I've been loving this. It takes um, my makeup off really nicely. It's gentle and um, it doesn't like burn or irritate my skin. So I use this first. And then just recently I started using this Clean and Clear Deep Action. Um, honestly, I just like this because it gives me like that minty feeling on my face. So I've been using that, just kind of switching it up. I've always been huge on CeraVe, but recently I just changed over to this. I like it, um, but I always change up my skincare anyway. So I'm just gonna wash my hands first. First things first. I'm the realist. Okay, anyways, Hydro Boost. Just to break down all the makeup, I go over my eyes. All right, that's off. Now I go in, I know I'm a mess, but um, I've been having like lots of just kind of small breakouts, so I go in a second time. I've always gone in a second time, no matter like what face wash I'm using. So here's the deep action one. Okay. My face is all dry now, and I just go in with this Witch Hazel Toner. This one's by Clean Beauty. I got it from Marshalls. It's just apple cider vinegar and Witch Hazel. So, put a little bit of that on my skin. I also make sure to get down my neck. This feels so refreshing on the face. So, once I have my toner on, I kind of just let it air dry for a second. And then I use my trusty bio oil. I've been using this for so long. I just use it because I used to have really bad acne scars. So put that there. Mine's from Walmart. It's like $10 or something a bottle, but I love it. And I love the smell. Yeah, the bio oil like gets rid of any like dark marks you have, any previous scarring, um, dry skin. It apparently works on like cellulite too. Just good stuff. <laughs> I have a little tan line. You guys can, I don't know, you can probably tell, but that's from today. Pat that in a little bit. And then lastly, I just go into my big old jar of CeraVe. This is just the moisturizing cream. I get this big old thing from Sam's. I use it for my face. I use it for my body. Um, it's great. It's gentle, it's thick, but not too thick. All right, that is all for my skincare. Um, I'm gonna be looking a little shiny, but honestly, my favorite part of the day is literally getting to take off my makeup and feeling clean. So yeah, we're gonna have dinner now and keep it simple because if I do too much 
my skin just doesn't like it so I try to keep it just like one to two things and not change it up too often or else my skin also reacts to that because it's just very sensitive so anyway now I will see you guys tomorrow morning good morning everyone I am at a stoplight so might not be here for that long but I just picked up my students giant box of donuts I got 24 and I got myself the fruity pebbles one because why not um but yeah i got 24 donuts so and i only have 19 kids so probably gonna have to give some away to some teacher friends but um yeah i'm gonna surprise them with donuts this morning kind of running i would say i'm running on time which makes me nervous i'm just really bad with time management and leaving early but i'm gonna make it to school on time i just hate feeling super rushed which is my fault because i do that to myself yeah I'm excited for today today's a full day like I said yesterday and so we'll see what we get done um, lots of cleaning probably and just hang out like I said yesterday guys I literally passed out at I lay down at 8:30. probably went to bed by like 9 9 30 because I was so tired from field day so I feel really refreshed I haven't had my cup of coffee but We'll get there. I'll see you guys at school. All right, good morning. The kids are at specials now, and I just wanted to show you guys the activity we just did. It was so cute. Um, basically, the kids, I mentioned this yesterday, but the kids had these pieces of paper taped to their back. I set a 15 minute timer, and I said, you had to go around to all of your friends, write something positive or nice, and then we didn't actually get to finish because there was a lot to write about. But um, then when they come back from specials, we'll continue that, and then at the end, they'll get to read like everything that their friend said i'm missing like five students today so um the room is kind of bare but this morning we had donuts so i feel a little a little hyper it was good though and then admin brought in some bagels so now we're doing that um by the way this cute cute dress is i'll just show you guys it's from marshall's um it's the brand Caution to the Wind. I love Marshalls and honestly, I still want to look cute for the last few days, so I wanted to wear a dress and plus, um, it's still comfy. Like, I'd rather wear this than leggings and a shirt. So I'm gonna figure out what we can do for the rest of the day and then finish my bagel. It's the Panera Bagel with um, honey walnut cream cheese. Very excited. I hope you all are having a great day if you're done with school having a good break so far only one day left it's crazy it's so weird a lot of my kids were saying that they felt sad and they were gonna cry and I was like mm, that's so sweet I also just typed in crossword puzzle maker on Google and then it just says to add in your own words here so I'm gonna do that and then I'll just put the kids names on there and um, just have them do this a little bit later but yeah this is a good idea just to give them something to do since they don't have their iPads anymore okay I meant to say word search but you could also do a crossword puzzle end of the day vibes we're doing a guided drawing and they had to go to extra recess so we didn't have any time to clean up but this is what the room is looking like my kids helped me pack up my books today and I just had them sort it by color and there's my library empty i'm gonna move these things somewhere so the janitors can clean the floors um and then we cleaned out our cubbies as well so super empty up there everything that they have of mine is now back here which i also have to organize but today's been such a good day we just finished a baby yoda guided drawing i need to go find mine where is mine someone was borrowing mine oh yeah here's mine is that cute or what <laughs> yeah we're just doing random the most random things but I think they're having so much fun and it's really getting down to it I wanted to show you guys the crossword puzzle that I printed off earlier I did print off a few like coloring sheets um, and then the crossword puzzle our class family it's huge so that'll be fun I'm gonna have them do all of these tomorrow since it's our half day also for read aloud i've been reading this book it's called class dismissed such a fun book for them to read and 
we're almost through we have like this much left but they love it it's literally so funny and it's so relatable so i've been loving reading this for the end of the year and yeah i don't know such strong feelings now that it's the end of the year but it's also like a huge relief too at the same time so if it's the end of the year for you don't feel bad if you're ready to get out of there don't feel bad if you feel sad you know it's different for everyone and it's been a crazy year so anyway i'll probably catch you guys later because i have to go pick them up at recess now it's a couple hours later and i decided i want to show you guys what i got from the dollar store the worst thing is you know when you go to the store and you just forget two things and it's like the two things that you really need so i forgot to print off photos for my students for tomorrow and then i forgot to buy goodie bags like i bought everything for the goodie bags except for the bag and then obviously i want a picture because i'm doing these envelopes so i'll show you guys all of that stuff tomorrow or maybe tonight when i go get this stuff so first things first i got them all these little like dipper snacks just to put in their goodie bags i have candy in there for them too at our school we did this thing called sunny ticket behaviors and so my box basically it's like an incentive for the end of the year but the kids get to win prizes and so my prize box was a movie kit so i'm just getting this like movie kit ready for one of the students in the school so i got this cute little basket i got some crunch in there milky way sweet tart ropes these look really good some m ms popcorn of course i got butter and extra butter oh yeah i got these these look really nice they're like the gummy bear swirly ones i bought a bag for myself they're pretty good i tried those already i got so much candy for them but um and then some octopus worms yeah that's about it so i'm gonna give this to him tomorrow for my kids i just got them a bunch of these like little juice boxes like fruit punch orange sorry if the lighting's kind of funky but got a bunch of these little juice boxes for them those dipper snacks and yeah that's all so i'll show you guys what i get later whenever i go get it look what else came teacher style box very very excited for this i'll show you guys what i got a little teacher style box unboxing i love this little subscription it's so easy and convenient anytime i get a new box i'm like yes I don't have to plan like another day of outfits. I can just put whatever I have in my box on as long as it fits and I like it, which I always do. So comes in this cute little gift wrap. And this is what I'm excited for. It's a jumpsuit. And oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Adorable smock top jumpsuit. Honestly, I think this is gonna be my um, last day of school outfit. I'm gonna try it on. I'll show you guys if I wear it tomorrow, but it's from Loft and um, Teacher Style Box is now working with Loft, which I really love. Good quality clothing and some high-waisted mom jeans. I'm very excited for these. They're just like a light faded wash. The waist looks tiny though, so let's see if I can fit into those. I'm about to come outside. I'm drinking this Zevia. If you guys are like soda fans and you don't really want to drink soda, I recommend Zevia. It's literally a caffeine free, zero sugar free. I mean, it has um, stevia, the sugar stevia, but there's no like added sugars. Literally everything is zero, zero, zero all the way down. But this flavor is creamy root beer. It is new my favorite flavors are root beer and um cream soda oh so freaking good but love this it's like a little nice pick me up whenever you want a drink or you want to quench your thirst and you don't want to like chug a soda so good all right back again so i got the pictures printed off i got some goodie bags i went to walgreens so there wasn't like a good selection of goodie bags but that's the least of my worries I got just a bunch of these. Honestly, these are gonna work and there were so many pink ones. That's all they had, so 49 cents. And then I printed off all the pictures. So in the goodie bags, I'm gonna have a picture with, um, one of these like little envelopes. Um, so here's the little envelope. So I'm just gonna put, 
a picture inside and then I'm gonna write like a note for each one of my students. Okay, a little bit of a fuss to put in, but here's our class picture. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And then it's literally a card, so it opens up and then I'm gonna have a little note right here. So first thing in the goodie bag is this. And then I got them. Now guys, you know this is so trendy right now with the older kids, probably the younger kids too, but I got mini poppets for them off of Amazon. It was, I think a pack of um, eight or six or something for, it was kind of expensive. It was like $15 for a pack, but they're gonna love this. So I'm gonna put that in their goodie bag. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put one of these dippers. I got these in my mailbox for the kids, but it's literally a free tropical cafe smoothie certificate. So I'm literally just gonna write their name on it and then slip that into the goodie bag as well. And then I'm gonna have some candy in there. So yeah. I'll show you guys like a little time lapse of me putting all of these together. Good morning, everyone. I am in the Starbucks line. I had to get Starbucks for the last day. It's the last day, so gotta get some fuel going. I'm so tired. I woke up with like a raging headache, so I'm still feeling it right now. So hopefully once I chug a little bit of water and some caffeine, I'll be good. But I packed my car up. I don't know why I didn't think of it last night or this morning, but like obviously I could have used a laundry basket for all of my stuff. Instead I brought a duffel bag and I still have other bags of things that would have solved my problem, but was not thinking. Um, yeah, it's the last day, I cannot believe it. I don't know, like I am feeling good right now, but I know later on it's gonna hit, I think it's one of those things that's gonna hit me later on, like, whoa, my kids aren't here anymore, they're gonna be fifth graders. Um, but the nice thing is I'll still be in the same grade next year, same school, so I'll get to see most of them in fifth grade and I told them you have to come visit me so yeah <laughs> it's just weird it's just a weird time I feel like anyways I just ordered a grande vanilla ice latte with soy milk I always do it with soy milk it tastes a little bit sweeter but also my stomach can handle soy milk a little bit better than whole milk I hope this line goes a little faster it always like there's barely any cars but then the line to wait for the drinks taking forever so anyway um, after school today me Madison and our friend Annie we're gonna go out to eat I think because we get out at like 1205 so I'm not even gonna eat lunch I'm just gonna yeah we're just gonna meet up and then eat lunch somewhere nearby um, but yeah like today my kids and I are just gonna have dance parties we're gonna do the crossword puzzle. We're just gonna hang out. I brought some juices for them. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure I'll talk to you guys just later on today. My drink's coming. Hello, you guys. I am chilling. It is the next day. <laughs> it's the first day of summer and I totally just, yesterday was a lot. There was lots of things going on. So I didn't get to vlog anything after that morning clip. Um, but now it is Friday. I am just living life right now. I am outside tanning. It is so nice out for the rest of the week. It's gonna be like 85 degrees. So I'm out here with the dog, which I'm pretty sure she's eating grass back there. I don't know if you can see her. But yeah, I've got my snacks out here. I got my water and I'm just ending off the vlog because I didn't do that yesterday. So. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I hope you guys are getting to enjoy summer either now or soon, hopefully. So I will see you guys next time. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe down below. I will see you all next time. Bye guys.